And you can get class specific ones that can go all up to 300 gold per book and you can do this 20 times. That's a ton. Then there is also another thing where there's these gates that you can do one time each day. So what you do, it, oh, and when you do those gates, they give you a uh, auction at the end for these maps. It's a legendary version of this map. And you also has a, 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 the ability to get like regular versions of the maps too, like Epic and Blue. But what you really want is you want the legendary map. And those maps, they sell for anywhere between two to 4,000 gold uh, on the auction. Uh, when you finish the cha these chaos gates, but these maps are actually worth anywhere oh, up to ten thousand gold easily, because what they do is they give you uh, harmony shard pouches, and they also give you potential of getting another map, and they give you fifteen of the moon breast crystals, which sell for about I think forty gold each, maybe more depending on your server. Oh, it's these things right here. These things sell for like forty gold each. You get fifteen of them per person that's in the in the map. So. Uh, and they could also give epic um, engraving booklets as well, which can sell for like quite a bit too. So you can make a ton of money off of those. So what you do is you basically have one of your friends go on the Chaos uh, Legion thing individually. You pull all your money together. You give all your money to that one person. They win the auction for like three or 4,000 gold. And then you all go on the map together and you guys get all the rewards. And then you pull all your money again together to another person to go in the next one, uh, which it would be like in another hour. And you do this like four times a day between like all of your friends and you will make back your gold in way more. Nice to assume you have friends. Well, I mean, you know, you know, yeah, I'm sure you can find somebody. What's another way to make a ton of gold? Another way to make a ton of gold is there is the uh, bloodstone vendor, which is, Itchy, what are you doing? Yeah, there's a bloodstone vendor, um, which is like the guild vendor, which is, uh, it's around here somewhere, but it's it's in the, it's it's right here, the Bloodstone Exchange, this thing right here. And what you do is you buy, I'll just walk over to it. Yeah, you buy these Bloodstone vendor things and uh, you can use these and there is a uh, chest that you can buy with them. These bloodstones you get from doing uh, guild contributions and then like some other like random stuff. So uh, pretty pretty easy to get. I'm sure like everybody is in a guild because everybody has friends, right? Teaming up is the best. So you take these uh, bloodstone vendors and you buy uh, this right here, this uh, Yorn entrance ticket, or you buy one of these. These are for the boss um, the boss challenge thing. And this other one is for the cube, which can also give you a ton of like mats and gold and stuff like that. And there's a bunch of other stuff you can buy here, but like those are the two main ones that you want to be looking for. Um, another way you can make gold is uh, you go to basically there's gems in the game late game. So you can go to guides and then you go to training area. And then you go here or wait, it might be the second one. I think this is it. It's the training area. You go training area, and then you go to gems, which is the second tab here. You click gem. I've already done this, so I can't really do this. And you go to gem, and then you start a quest with like the person up here that'll be on the top left, and they'll give you three, a uh, level three gems. And then you use those as, as well as some other gems that you've got to merge together to make a level five gem. And then you sell it on the auction house for anywhere between 1500 to 2500 gold. And you'd think that you'd want to use that, like you should probably like, keep a few gems for yourself. But once you hit like close to tier three, you're literally never going to use those gems ever again. So don't really like try to overstack like level five gems and stuff like that. You just want to um, sell them. Like they're don't like to get too overly attached to them. Uh, and then there's like what's some other ways to make a ton of gold? And that, other ways to make a ton of gold is. Uh, Obviously, you do your dailies. You should do your Una dailies every single day. Like, I just do, like, the easy ones that I can just space out. Like, just do the ones that, like, correspond with the mats you need. And then you get these Una tokens, which you have to, uh, you have to click them. Or whatever. If you don't click them and claim them when you get the points, then you're, you're just going to be shut out of luck. And you take them to a vendor, and you save up and get the biggest prize from the vendor. There's, like, three different gold pouches you can get. You want to get the gold, biggest gold pouch. And it'll give you a massive amount of gold for like doing these Una, Una dailies. Uh, and that'll give you a ton of gold as well. And then if you're having trouble uh, 
leveling up, like getting uh, experience, like your gear upgraded, there's some like secret tech that I didn't really know about uh, before. There's a island. It's called the uh, the Faramore Island. I think it's like right. Uh, it's this one, Fomona Island. So you do this quest on your main character, and you do it on your alt. So if you have a male character as your main character, you do it again as a female alt and finish the quest. And then what it'll do is it'll give you uh, this thing, which is the collectible, which is number 19, which gives you 1,500 and 500 of these stones, as well as like double the reward on top of that. So this, this can give you a ton of gems. Um, and then there's a uh, Shanja Island also gives a ton of gems. Which is like this uh, thing that will pop up every however many times. It's like I think it's like every two hours. Um, there'll be like three different islands. Uh, where is it? Chandra, Chandra, Chandra. Yeah, Sh Chandra. There you go, Chandra. So it pops up every few hours, um, and then you just go to this. You follow this quest chain. It's a 460 quest chain, so you just had to be 460 to do it. Uh, it gives like tier two mats and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so pretty much just like you just go out here and just show up like 10 minutes before because you have to be able to find where the island is because it's, it spawns in three different locations like one is here uh, another one is uh, up here wait another one is uh whoops controlling another one is like up here like next to this blue thing it's like up here and then another one is uh here so it can spawn at any of these locations so you gotta do Azure Win first. No, you don't have to do Azure Win first. Azure Win is a uh, thing. It's like a prerequisite for a wine quest, which is uh, Azure Wind is uh, this island right here, uh, which has a bunch of secret quests tied to it. I'm sure you can like Google and find like there's like a map. It has like all these invisible quests. You don't have to do Azure Win to do Shangra. You just have to do Azure if you want to do the wine the wine quest, which I'm sure you can like Google and find that out. Which is like a really big quest chain as like. You go up later or whatever the heck. So, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Oh, and then also you can... Anything else I'm missing for making gold and getting good tokens? I mean, obviously you can grind Chaos Dungeons infinitely. Uh, and then a lot of stuff you can do with the exchange here. You can use pirate tokens to get you uh, gems. And you can also use... Uh, yeah, yeah, Azure takes you to Shangra. But, uh, yeah. And then... I think I'm like missing one more thing to make. Oh, rapport. There's certain rapport quests that will give you like up to like 10,000 gold and like a bunch of other mats. I'm sure you can Google the chains for that. And those will like probably help you out if you're like need gold, 10,000 gold. So, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and also do your weeklies. Like, I can't stress enough. Do your weeklies. Your weeklies are like so important. Like, the weekly. Uh, I just do the Chaos Dungeon ones and I do the Guardian Dungeon because those are like the easiest ones and they also get the best rewards. So. Yep, those are just some of the tricks that people like taught me. Um, but yeah, those are the ones I got for. Hope it helps. Anyways, I'm going to cut that video.